Hey guys, how's it going on? And today is my prediction for England versus Iran. A game which I think will be an interesting game to say the least. I think that it's one which will set the tone for the World Cup for me. And I think we're going to go into it very positively. Despite the fact the England team hasn't had the best of form uh, in the last few games, us losing obviously to Italy and to Hungary uh, and getting a free all draw with Germany, I think the worst signs in that that we will actually turn up for this World Cup. Iran, they're an interesting little team, recently recording victories against Uruguay, and that was a Uruguay team which had the likes of Suarez, Nunes, Bentancourt, Valverde and Araujo in. So it weren't like Uruguay has played a, a rotate 11. You've got players for them like Taremi, who, who who are playing for Porto in the Champions League, scoring three in five. So it's a team that can cause us issues. Now we've got Carl Walker and we've also got James Madison who are out. And I do suspect perhaps Calvin Phillips will be also out for us in um, the first game, perhaps being saved for our game against the United States on Friday. I think, like I say, it should be routine. A ramp play over a, a low block, which is there to soak up the pressure. So this tells me a 4-3-3 with an attacking midfielder will be pivotal to our victory. Playing the likes of Rice and Bellingham as the pivot is brilliant for us. A progressive midfielder in Jude Bellingham, who's going to be so great at giving us those progressive runs, is going to be integral. Rice, like I say, probably will have the license to move a bit more forward. And the 10 who I think will really start to unlock the door will be Mason Mount, a player who is capable of, from a set piece, which I think is integral, which I think we will be getting quite a lot of, Iran obviously playing a low block. They're going to have to be fouling us. I think then, uh, obviously, you've got the likes of Phil Foden. But I think a game like this, Phil Foden is suited out to the left. Uh, and then either on the right, you play uh, Raheem Sterling or Bakayo Saka. I do personally actually think that Bakayo Saka might actually be more um, more of a threat in the game against Iran. Obviously, Saka likes his runs from uh, outside in, which is going to cause those fullbacks a hell of a lot of issues. So overall, I'm going to go with an England victory too. I'm going to go with a 2-1 victory. I am slightly interested into the fact of how we do defensively, how we line up, um, whether Maguire does actually start uh, alongside Stones, which is obviously the try and trusted, or whether the likes of uh, Ben White does get the opportunity. Uh, a right back as well, I feel like there's the interesting selection there between Trent and Kieran Trippier. Trent, obviously this game suits him. It's a game where we will have probably 70% of the ball um, and it's suited to his crossing. However, Trippier does offer a very similar level of ability, which could come in absolutely handy. Obviously, at left back, it's a little bit easier, Luke Shaw. And then who's your goalkeeper? Are you going for the Pickford, who's the tried and trusted Southgate? Southgate trusts him, but hasn't had the best of Premier League form. You've got Aaron Ramsdale, who has been absolutely sensational this year who has brilliant distribution, can always, I who knows, like I say, the system, because England and Arsenal play such a similar system. Or do you go for Nick Pope, who is statistically the best goalkeeper in the Premier League, save percentage-wise. A uh, little less good with his feet, however, is probably our best shot stopper. So it's going to be interesting. Like I say, I'm going to go 2-1. I don't think we'll get the clean sheet just because, like I say, I think Terem, Teremi and is it Asmoon, uh, the Bayer Leverkusen striker, are both clinical strikers in their own right in their respective leagues. So I'm interested. Uh, leave in the comment section who you think will actually, uh, what the score will be, any predictions for the lineup, and who you think will score. Uh, on probably Monday or Tuesday, I'll upload my thoughts on the actual video. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this World Cup content that's coming your way. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.